Hi, I'm Junior with Keystone RV Center. Today we're going to talk about the topic that nobody wants to talk about. Black tanks and gray tanks and black tank flushes and all that stuff. We get a lot of calls in here on how to do this correctly, so we're going to go ahead and clarify that for you. If you haven't heard our videos before, we're Greencastle, Pennsylvania, Keystone RV Center, 1-800-232-3279. Comment in the videos. Um, we are getting back to you. I did put, I don't know if Mark noticed yet, but I, yeah, he's shaking his head. Yeah, uh, I'm on there as what, the real JR, I think is what it is now. Um, so I am commenting back. We are doing comment videos. So, black and gray tanks. When you are at the campsite, your knife valves need to be closed at all times. We're going to be shooting a separate video that I'm going to be dressed very similar in. Again, in the Salem Hemisphere, um, wearing a coachman's shirt because Steve hasn't got me a shirt yet. Thanks, Steve. Um, but we're going to be showing you how to fill your toilet and how much water to put in the uh, holding tank. I'm going to tell you right now, we need you to fill it to the fill line in the toilet four times on a unit this size. If you have like a little R-Pod with a little, uh, actually they have a fairly decent holding tank, I'd still do four in that. If you have a little 10 gallon, 20 gallon holding tank, uh, do three or two. Um, that being said, on a tank unit this size, I'm going to tell you to do four fills to the uh, fill line on the toilet. Watch that video, see what we're talking about there. So when I get to the site, I'm going to take my Rhino Extreme sewer hose and I'm going to run this all the way over into the dump station. Okay, we're on the middle of the lot, work with us. It is a new unit, so we don't have to worry about anything. And you have four locking tabs here, you have four locking tabs here. Just make sure they are all the way clipped over and on. That way there's no leaking, okay? Now I'm going to tell you to go ahead and use this black tank all the time with the valves closed. If you use it with it open, liquids will flow, solids will stay, plus you'll have sewer gases coming back up through the line from the campground, in through your trailer, and stinking up the whole trailer. That being said, when it's time to dump the black tank, when you're leaving, never empty the holding tank unless it's two-thirds of a tank full. If that means you have to take the shower head off and fill the holding tank that way, then do it. But that's the way we're going to uh, instruct you to do it. That's going to create more of a volume rush. It's a gravity-fed system, which means on most trailers, we'll get into uh, mass raiders on another video, maybe later on this winter. But that volume rush is going to rinse out the inside of the tank initially. So whenever we go to dump, we're going to pull the black tank valve, let everything run out. Once everything has ran out, and we are sure the tank's empty, either using a clear sewer extension here or using the transparent or translucent ends available from RhinoFlex. We're then going to take our fresh water hose. Gonna come over here to where it says black tank flush. Now you're gonna see a warning sticker there. What that warning sticker is telling you is make sure that tank valve is open. Otherwise, when you call in here and tell us you have a water leak coming from your roof, we're going to put the phone on mute and we are going to start laughing because it's not a water leak. You have filled your black tank all the way up, ran it over the black tank, the uh, sewage vent valve at the roof of the camper and it's going to be running sewage all over the side of your camper. Yes, have you seen the movie RV? That's what we're talking about. All right, Mark, give me two seconds while I turn that on. All right, now that we've been running this black tank flush for a little bit, you're gonna see water start to come out. Two things I'm going to recommend here. One is gonna be a sewer hose support so you can actually angle this the way you need to keep that flow going the way that, uh, that you need it. The other thing is going to be that clear sewer extension. That way you don't have to check to see if the water's clean coming out like this because that's just disgusting if it wasn't a new camper. So now we've seen, we are seeing clear water coming out through. Now, when you have those clear sewer extensions, you're going to see brown first, which is obviously, yeah. And then you're going to see milky white, which is going to be the toilet pe paper. And then once it looks like river rapids coming out, now we know that we've got this pretty well clean at this point. So we're going to go ahead and shut the water pressure off before closing the knife valve. I'll be right back.
Now, if you want to be smarter than me, you can put a valve here on your sewer hose. That way you can control everything. We're going to let the water run the rest of the way out of this hose. Slide this down the hill. And if you are interested in purchasing uh, movie props or YouTube props, if you see Big John in parts, just ask him for the Rhino Flex hose that we used during the video. He'll have that set aside for you. Now that I've got all the water flowed out of the black tank, I don't have any, I don't feel anything flowing through here anymore. I'm going to shut that valve. I'm going to open the gray tank valve and let everything drain out of there. Now we went sewage first and soap water second. Just remember this, we go to the bathroom, then we wash our hands. That's right, gray water is just soap water from the sinks and the showers. Now the way I do it, once this gray tank is completely emptied, which it is now, I'm going to shut that valve open this on then I'll take this hose which is a separate hose that I use other than my drinking hose rinse the inside of my black tank hose or sewage hose rinse that all out and then push this all inside shove everything in the back bumper make sure your knife valves are completely closed before travel and make sure you put your sewer cap on there latch it on other than that any questions give us a call 1-800-232-3279 Again, that's 1-800-232-3279. Have a great day.